Welcome back. Problem 4-23. This problem is taken from chapter number 4 that is axial load and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement of the problem is the rod has a slight taper and length L. It is suspended from a ceiling and support a load P at its end. Show that the displacement of its end due to this load is this one. Neglect the weight of the material, the modulus of elasticity is E. So you can see this is taper rod and that is attached with the ceiling. The, outer, the largest radius is R2 while the smallest radius is R1. The total length is L and that is subjected to axial load of P. So you have to find the elongation in this rod which is delta and that delta is equal to P into L divided by pi E R2 and R1. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if you if you draw the half of the section and take the frontal view, so it will be like this one. You can see this will be the portion. This will be the, it will be look like this. So you can see this half, this, this, this is the, half portion which i have shown you shaded so this is uh, r2 from this point till this point this is r2 clear this is r1 the total length is given as l so this length is l and you can see if you draw a vertical line from this end so this distance will be same which is r1 and this distance will be this distance remaining distance will be equal to r2 minus r1 okay now you can see that uh, um, the radius is changing throughout its length clear so here radius is r1 and here radius is r2 so what we will do is that we will take any distance x and we will find the radius function of radius at that length of x so let from this till this distance there we take this as x so here this distance which will be equal to r of x and we will find this r of x by using this formula r of x will be equal to you can see this r of x is equal to this r1 and this distance so i will write r1 plus this distance this distance will be equal to r2 minus r1 multiply by x over l because it is acting at x distance of total length L. So I will write R2 minus R1 divide by L multiply by X. Now you can for check you can put for X is equal to 0. So when you put X is equal to 0 this term will be equal to 0 and Rx will be equal to R1. So here you can see Rx will be equal to R1. So I will write Rx is equal to R1. Now for x is equal to length L, if you put this x L and when you calculate it, you will get Rx will be equal to R2. It means that our function of Rx is correct. So R radius depend upon it, the length. Over a length of any distance x from this, you can find the radius. Okay. Now, if you further simplify this Rx, so Rx is equal to, if you take LCM, so it will be equal to R1 into L plus R2 minus R1 into X divided by L. Now, we know that due to this axial load P, we have deformation is equal to integral of P into X into DX divided by AX into modulus of elasticity E and that integral from 0 to over entire length L. So you can just put here 
so we will get 0 to L P into D X divided by A X into E now area for area we know that area A of X is equal to pi R square into X so you can just put the value of R so pi into R is R1 L plus R2 minus R1 into X divided by L whole square. So if you further simplify it, you will get A of X will be equal to pi over L square and we will left with R1 into L plus R2 minus R1 into x whole square so put the value of a over here so you will get deflection is equal to integral of 0 to l p into dx divided by pi over l square into r1 l plus r2 minus r1 into x whole square oh okay now if you take p p if you take this p pi and l square out of so it will be equal to p l square over pi and there is also e multiplied by e so you will take these terms out of this integral so you will left with dx by r1 into l minus x2 my uh, sorry r2 minus r1 into x whole square okay now we will solve this uh, integral and this integral from 0 to l so from uh, our mathematics portion and integral so if you have the formula like this dx divided by ax plus b whole square so its solution will be equal to minus 1 divided by a into ax plus b so what we will do is that if you further simplify this equation so we will get delta is equal to p l square over pi into e integral of 0 to l dx and we will get here r1 into l plus minus r2 plus r1 into x whole square now you can see that this portion is a and this is b so you will get a x plus b whole square which is the same formula like this so this deflection delta will be equal to p l square over pi into e and we will get minus 1 by here you can see a is equal to my r1 minus r2 and b is equal to r1 into l so minus 1 over a a is equal to r1 minus r2 into a x plus b which is r1 minus r2 into x plus b b is r1 into l r1 into l and we will take limit from 0 to l x star from 0 to L. now if you further simplify this equation so you will get deflection is equal to minus p l square over pi into e and you will get r1 minus r2 out of this square bracket so you will left with 1 by r1 minus r2 into x plus r1 into l and their limit will be 0 to x from 0 to l 
ओके फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी एल स्क्वेयर ओवर पाई इंटू ई इंटू आर वन माइनस आर टू इंटू वन ओवर इफ यू रिप्लेस एक्स विथ एल सो इट विल बी वन ओवर आर वन माइनस आर टू इंटू एल प्लस आर वन इंटू एल एंड देन माइनस वन ओवर एक्स इज रिप्लेस बाय जीरो सो आर वन माइनस आर टू इंटू जीरो प्लस आर वन इंटू एल ओके सो दिस डेल्टा विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस पी एल स्क्वेयर ओवर पाई इंटू ई इंटू आर वन माइनस आर टू इंटू दिस विल बी वन ओवर आर वन माइनस आर टू टाइम्स एल प्लस आर वन इंटू एल एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वन ओवर आर वन इंटू एल नाउ इफ यू फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइड दिस डेल्टा विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस पी एल स्क्वेयर ओवर पाई ई इंटू आर वन माइनस आर टू इंटू वन ओवर आर वन इंटू एल माइनस वन ओवर आर टू इंटू एल प्लस वन ओवर आर वन इंटू एल एंड दिस विल बी माइनस वन ओवर आर वन इंटू एल सो दिस विल कैंसल सो वी विल लेफ्ट विद डेल्टा विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस पी एल स्क्वेयर ओवर पाई ई इंटू आर वन माइनस आर टू एंड वी हैव वन ओवर आर वन इंटू एल माइनस वन ओवर आर टू इंटू एल एंड दैट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस पी एल स्क्वेयर ओवर पाई ई इंटू आर वन माइनस R2. So if you take the LCM of these two terms, so that will be equal to R1, R2 into L. And if you take this value and divide by R1 by L, so you will get R2. And similarly for this, we will get R1. Now you will get delta is equal to minus P L square over pi into E into R1 minus R2. And here you will get If you want to convert this R two minus R one, so that will be equal to minus. Take minus as common, so it will be equal to R one minus R two divided by R one into R two into L. Okay. So further, this delta will be equal to this minus multiply by minus will be plus this, and this R one will be cut with this, so you will left and this. One L will cut with this L, so you will left with P into L. We will left with P into L divided by pi e into R one multiplied by R two. So this is the deflection of one end of the tapered rod. Due to axial load, and we have proved that this is equal to P L divided by pi e into R one and R two. You can check it. This is the same, and that was all about this problem four dash twenty three. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching